I just started a blog in the survival niche, uh, 70 articles published in a month. In the first three weeks, I was getting impressions and clicks, but in the past week, everything tanked, zero impressions, zero clicks. Um, so this one I'm actually going to say is kind of can be a little tricky because a lot of the times what you'll see when you add all this content like that is you'll see this initial like boot, like a huge like burst in the beginning and then everything will go, whoop, will go way down and then it'll kind of like slowly start to rise again. Um, I think a big question here too is 70 articles within first three weeks. Are you, you know, what's the quality of these articles or yeah. are you just going into chat GPT and, uh, you know, getting a bunch of articles done. Um, because I have noticed a lot of people trying to do the simple AI automated version of websites uh, tanking over the last, you know, week or two. For sure. Um, so yeah, make sure your content's up to snuff. Uh, you know, make sure you're, you're doing more than just copy and pasting it. Add some stuff in there, uh, you know, get some good images and stuff, maybe some videos. Uh, but yeah, we always recommend definitely editing the content. You know, even popping it into something like Surfer can be great. Um, if you don't have Surfer, I forget what that other cheaper one that people like to use is called. Um, but anyway, uh, something to... Pop? No, well, Pop as well, but there's a, another one that's like way cheaper. Mm. Um, not Neuron Writer. Maybe it is Neuron Writer. But anyway, um, there's one that's... Uh, it's It looks similar to Surfer, but it doesn't have like the same amount of like data. And it doesn't like... Anyway, it, it operates very similarly. Gotcha. Um... But yeah, um, so it could just be kind of like, you know, this, the beginning stages and then, you know, it's going to be a slow build after that. It could be that Google has decided, you know, basically what Nick was talking about, that your content sucks and that i um, going to have to, you know, what's weird is now my microphone is like way up high again. Um, Sound the same to me. Go ahead and talk for me real quick, Nick. Check, check, microphone check, one, two, three. Yeah, mine looks three. a little bit louder than you, but anyway. Um, so yeah, anyway, what, what you can do from here is, you know, edit your articles, make sure they're good. Um, if, if the articles are actually great and have like lots of like images, uh, videos, whatever you've edited them, they're not just straight up copy and paste AI stuff. And you know, they are, uh, they have proper on page SEO done to them, you know, your H tags, your title URL, um, meta descriptions, all this stuff, you know, they've actually done a good job and they're actually like targeting keywords and um, yeah, if all this stuff is good, you're matching search intent, then uh, I would just keep moving forward, adding more content and probably building some backlinks to the site as well. It could just be this kind of initial uh, love boost has kind of worn off and now they're treating you like a normal person. What's up? He just to add some info, he says, I don't know what to do. All the pages are indexed, but they disappeared from the search results in every keyword I was ranking for. I'm using Koala SEO writing, auto blogging AI. I edit them manually. All the posts have more than 10 unique images generated from mid journey. Also, I'm using neuron writer and pop to optimize. Um, That's fun. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, you're doing some automated stuff here. Um, and you know, I guess one thing that I can say without, you know, knowing what site this is, et cetera, is that there's been a lot of volatility in the SERPs over the last, um, what, few months, really, I think since like June. Um, and a lot of these AI-based websites, I feel, are going through the ringer with volatility. And I was noticing some stuff over the course, like even the last week or two, Um where there's just high volatility. And um, we talked about this before. Uh, at this point in time, we can't definitively say like what you know these core updates um, have done just because we've been hit with so much stuff um, over the last few months. Um, and it just doesn't stop. It doesn't give us any breathing room to kind of do, um, to analyze what's going on. But in times like this, what you need to do is you need to evaluate yourself as an SEO Kind of decide, okay, do I know definitively that I'm doing these things correctly? Is there anything that I'm kind of slacking on, um, you know, that could be causing an issue? Um, and you're looking for footprints, things, you know, to that kind of nature that are going to, you know, give you an idea of what you can work on. Um, but at this point in time, you kind of have to keep your head down. 
if you know something works uh, or historically it's worked over a long period of time, then you can keep doing those things and kind of try and get out of this um, period that we're currently in of high volatility. Um, but yeah, I can't give any more particular advice without really knowing too much more about the website. Yeah. But anyway, you know, what I would probably do is just make sure everything's good and keep moving forward. Keep adding more content. Keep improving your old content. Keep uh, building some backlinks. I don't even know if you built any backlinks yet. You know, it could just be Google's initial crawl or whatever, and then they've kind of, um, you know, just popped you down a little bit. Uh, I, I wouldn't really put too much uh, worry on it if you're doing all this human editing and stuff and you've got all these unique images and whatnot. Um, you know, just make sure make sure the articles are actually good. Just because you're using all these tools doesn't make necessarily make sure the article mean the articles are good, right? So make make sure the articles are actually good and read like human content and explain topics how you'd want them to be explained to you. Um, but yeah, other than that, move forward. Um, keep improving the site. Keep improving uh, you know your backlink profile, and uh, should be okay. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Be sure to check the links below for more info on this topic as well as other cool stuff like SEO case studies, our Facebook community, and our link building services. And like always, please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks and happy ranking!